Now, it's estimated that more than 10% of the people in this country have some form of diabetes. Your bodies cannot properly regulate sugar. So many of those cases go undiagnosed, and there's one reason. That's one reason this is Diabetes Awareness Month. Yeah, by far, most common is type 2 diabetes that comes on during someone's lifetime. The causes aren't clear, but two major contributing factors are being overweight and inactive. There's no cure for it, but it can be managed. So here to help us understand diabetes are nurse practitioner Camilla Levister and her patient Siobhan Armstead. So welcome, ladies. Good to have you both here. So Camilla, let's talk first and foremost about the health problems, right, that diabetes can cause. Let's start there. So in terms of diabetes, and you mentioned there are two different types, uh, main types, type 1 and type 2. Um, but for both of those, there are cardiovascular or heart risk factors that can occur over time, um, if not well controlled, including higher risk for heart attack and stroke. There are also complications that can occur with the kidneys, if not well controlled. Um, the eyes, um, in terms of uh, something called diabetic retinopathy, where there's damage to the retina. Um, so it's not just limited to control weight to, to sugars, it's affecting the entire body potentially mm -hmm. if not well managed. Well, Siobhan, tell us about your situation, how diabetes came on for you, how it affected you. Um, I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was around 25 years old. It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't taking care of myself. And I noticed that I was feeling really bad, and I went to the doctor for a regular physical, and I found out I had diabetes. Um, but I did not control it very well at all until I moved to New York. I was living in Alabama when I found out I had it. Okay. And so, and so uh, Camilla, you got Siobhan into a study, right, that you were involved with there. And what, what was going on with that study? Why was it so important? So I have been working with Siobhan over several years. We started working together when she uh, was pregnant um, and now has a uh, beautiful uh, boy who's no longer a baby. Mm -hmm. And then um, after a couple of years, there was a study that um, I was an investigator on using a continuous glucose monitor, um, which allows a person to see what their blood sugar numbers are throughout the day and evening. They can see if the glucose is going up or down, which is really helpful because they can see how certain things are impacting their blood sugar. So they can see if something they ate causes them to go high. Um, and then based on that, potentially make changes to help that, whether it be through medication adjustment with their provider, also things like um, changing some dietary habits and physical activity. Uh, with that study, she also wore a Fitbit, so she was able to see how active she was. There was no requirement for how active you had to be, but it was able to measure that. And I think it just helped it bring a lot of mindfulness as to what was going on specifically yeah. with um, exercise, medication, and activity. Now, is diabetes mostly hereditary, or are there things that we can do to prevent it? Mm. There definitely is a genetic component um, when it comes to type 2 diabetes. If you uh, have a family uh, member, a parent, for example, that had type 2 diabetes, your risk is um, higher. However, there are other things which we call modifiable risk factors. So those are things like your weight, being overweight mm. or obese makes you okay. more likely to have diabetes, um, other things such as uh, being inactive, as you also mentioned earlier. Yeah. Um, so those are definitely things that, that take a uh, part of that. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, and, and also the, the technology to kind of measure your blood sugar has come so far. Because uh, I have a family member who has who has diabetes, and it used to be that prick of the finger, and now there's devices you can just scan with your yeah. phone. Um, so, so for you, um, Siobhan, what what is your advice to someone who may have just been diagnosed, kind of, in, and is down on their luck right now about the fact that they just got diagnosed with it? Um, get educated. Get uh, get into a diabetes nutrition program. Um, Camilla, really, the education was the main, like the fit the Fitbit and the Dexcom study. It allowed me to learn so much, and then I was able to take that knowledge and then keep going. Mm. And before, I just had diabetes, and I was taking medicine, but I wasn't really knowing what was going on. And once you understand how diabetes is affecting your body, it it takes the anxiety away because mm. you know you can control it. You can you can do something. 
you're not out of control. You yeah. can take control. All right. Great advice, Siobhan Armstead and nurse practitioner Camilla Levisser. Thank you so much for being with us this morning and sharing some very important information for Diabetes Awareness Month. We appreciate your time. Thank you. It was a pleasure. All right.